Does your lawn tractor steer like crap? Does it wander all over the place? Can you not drink your beer while you're cutting the grass and steer straight at the same time? Well, maybe your steering gear is all worn out. This time around on Mel's Mountain Garage, I'm gonna replace the pinion gear and the steering gear on my Cub Cadet LT1045. I'm sure it's similar for other mowers, MTD, LT1042s, uh, so forth and so on. Bolaria was kind enough to send me out a brand new steering gear, bushings, hardware, and a pinion to go on ahead and review and install on this LT1045. Follow me along as I do the review and do the install. Fortunately, I have a ATV slash lawn tractor jack. Obviously, I do have a lift. You can see it in the background, but this is what I'm using. It's, it works better than a lift. It is made for this. Do the best camera angle I can and show you all the steering gear slop. I do have slop in my front tie rods as well. We'll take care of that to get the steering gear off and the pinion gear off we need to remove the PTO and pulley from the engine then the steering links so we can get to that bolt and that bolt and we'll pull it all out please don't mind the background noise it's raining here in Pennsylvania so let's get the clutch off first Get that washer. I'll clean that clutch up later. Oops. Looks like there's a bushing up in there that may need to get replaced. There's a nut. All right. Oh, I want to thank Bolari for sending these out for me to look at and review. Let's pull out of the package and see what we got. Oh, well, I didn't know it came with the uh, pinion gear, the steering gear, so that's pretty awesome. Holy smokes. Make sure I'm not leaving anything. So you can see we got a nut. This bushing goes on the tie rod. Got two new nuts, two new bushings, considering the bushings on my Karen's set up are worn out. Let's open this guy up. And we have got the pinion gear. The engagement appears to be good. Boom. Look at that. The paint or powder coat is really nice. Teeth are nice. They got nice shoulders. Good bushings. It is still kind of cold here in Pennsylvania, so I'll probably put these in some hot water just to ensure I don't break them. You got the components laid out side by side. Or front to rear is the camera. Angle shows, here's our new item and our long, our old item. New gear, old gear. Here's our newer pinion gear. And old pinion gear, here are the bushings. You may be able to see that the bushings are slightly different in design. With the old bushing having a complete shoulder all the way around, while the new bushing does not. Whether that's an improvement or 
not I'm not sure we did get one new machine uh, uh, bushing spacer now it is the same size for the pivot point and a slide point as told by the old ones we do have new nuts they are not flange nuts though they appear to be lock nuts no they are not lock nuts the OG nuts are flange nuts that would go right up in here and help hold this bushing in. I may reuse the old flange nuts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Quickly, for the sake of measurements, the old one is 0.62 inches. The flat washer part is 0 0.09 inches. Overall height is 0 0.30. This one is 0 0.31. The other old one. The new one is 0.31 inches. That flange is 0.62 inches. So the bushings are the same. The pinion gears, the replacement is 0.56. The OG is 0.56. This one does have some wear. wear. I'm not sure if the lighting, I'm sorry about the lighting here, people. And finally, the thickness of the gear, take into account the paint and or powder coat will increase the thickness nominally, depending on how many mil it is. This is reading 0.20 inches. The old one, let's find a clean spot, give it a fair shake. 0.17 inches, and our stud where the steering linkage is attached to where that plastic bushing rides it says 0.36 inches again this one's got a coating on it so it's bound to be thicker this same 0 0.40 for the pivot hole 0.62 This one's saying 0.64, so it's a little bit larger. Can we tell? Well, we can tell. Just a little bit larger. And this bit here. Point six eight. 0.68. So, our pivot hole is a couple thou larger. My bushings, old bushings, this one's got some pretty good wear on it. And this one was the one that went here. I'll end up reusing the old one and whichever one is larger or fits better is what I'm gonna use in there because that'll just be more slot, right? But other than the shouldered nuts not being included as standard nuts, and these washers are different, I'm sure it'll all work, it'll be perfectly fine replacement. So let's put it in. Now install, reverse the procedure. I did put some red tacky in the pivot here. Can't see how this bolt goes on. You gotta be very careful so that they don't drop the dog on thing. Let's do that. And then that. We... There you go. There it is. Everything. Everything's nicely, nice and new. Look at that. There's no slop in that doggone thing. Wow. Perfect. Dad, turn the wheel. Go ahead, turn it all the way full left, Dad. Full left? Yeah. That's it. That's it. That was it? That's it. 
a little bit of grease on our steering shafts. We'll set that guy up there. Close to the spindle, I'm gonna do a quote unquote alignment with it. Oh, well, I'm starting off with my freaking uh, creeper. Perfect, that's tight. Steering gear's got a, two pinholes. They'll line it up to make sure your wheel's straight. Cup Cadet has nine lock nuts. Now I understand why. So you can adjust them as they start to wear in. This was a little bit tight with the coating on it. So I'll turn it on and off camera, wear the coating away, and probably be able to suck that down some more. A quick douching down with our brake clean and the PTO, we can now get this guy reassembled. There was a washer up in here, so don't forget any washers or anything you take apart because you can totally screw yourself up for sure. Remember where your PTO wire came through? I see this oval slot right there. Turn the, there's a slot in the PTO that keeps it locked in. We hit our keyway. Nothing hits, nothing rubs, nothing's going the wrong way. Perfect. I may regret putting this grease on later because it may have dirt stick to it, but for the sake of wearing the gears in for the first couple hours, I'll let it be. Afterwards, I'll wash it down, maybe put some dry lube or something on it. Wheels are locked into the lift. New steering gear is on. Oh, that slop is gone. I call that a win. Well, that wraps it up. That was semi-instructional. I know it was hard to follow along. I don't have an additional hand, an additional cameraman to get possibly better angles, but you get the gist of it. I can tell you that I've cut some grass already. I've already run the mower arounds. We've got 15 acres here on Mills Mountain Garage, and it was a drastic improvement. My old gear and pinion gear were so worn out, as you saw in the video, they were so much slop. I literally would have to correct constantly. I mean, it was worse than driving my 32 Ford down a mountain. I'm telling you, it was terrible. If you like the content and want to see more of it, please hit the like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram at Mel's Mountain Garage. Leave me some comments, suggestions, good or bad, in the comments below. As always, I'll leave the links to the parts that I used and to the storefront of the company that sent them out to me. I appreciate it.